Hello everyone, this is Austin with Oconee Luxury Services. Uh, just getting to uh, this GMC, it's a 2020 or 2021, uh, it's only six or so months old. Uh, I've done it, I think, two or three times now, uh, every few months. I'm just going to make a before video, because like even, even with just being a few months, like, it's still pretty shiny but it's definitely really dirty too you know and i'm sure they i think i'm not a hundred percent sure but i do think that they take it through some places sometimes that is not me not a hundred percent sure though but like i say it uh It's really even hard to kind of tell, even looking at the paint, because you know there's going to be some swirling and stuff in a black car and just a daily driver. But uh, like I said, it's just really kind of hard to tell. But this video isn't really so much about if they take it through other places or not. It's just kind of about the how clean it is now and shiny and. Uh, it, uh, before because when I come back and everything's clean you know even though it's only been a few months you know definitely don't have anyone else do the inside and this is actually someone who works from home since COVID happened uh, and you know everyone knows how the school issues are you know where you're going to school some days and not other days so obviously there's even limited amount of uh, travel for travel travel for school um, so one trick I always do that everyone should always do is when I first get in I always open up the uh, but oh and it's not it's just push so that way you can see better see all the grime in there so I'm gonna get all of that out uh, and this is just a deluxe detail package, basically like a repeat deluxe detail, but, um, you know, it's still, right now, 28 steps, but who knows how many steps it'll be online by the time you're watching this video, because they just seem to keep adding on steps, uh, always improvement, including, um, a full... After we do the cleaning, the wipe down cleaning, uh, we then go back over and do a um, wipe down, antibacterial wipe down uh, over the whole car. And can, it's actually a conditioner as well. Uh, so it just makes it really nice. Uh, you know, the chrome door handles, they, you know, really everything, the plastic, the wood trim, uh, you know, stitchings, whatever. Uh, it just really comes out really really nice and you'll see uh, in the after video uh, But I even do the steering wheel to get in between all of these little crevices and you know you saw this big Piece wherever it was There there it is kind of that big piece right there, you know, but I wipe all of that down uh, and Get all in between all the nooks and crannies even on just a repeat deluxe detail so uh, I will see you, I guess, in about three hours or so when I get done. So one thing I did want to note is if you look really hard when I'm opening up the door, like really hard, there might be a little right there. Yeah, okay, so look right there on the concrete when I move the door and you can see like the reflection of the door off the ground all right so got all the floor mats hung up uh, on the floor mat station uh, this is why I really like this van because we can come out to you with water power uh, we have a generator uh, behind here for power I uh, have a 250 gallon tank for uh, filtered water uh, when I spray these down for carpet mats kind of like an old-fashioned clothesline I just pull it straight out like that and it locks 
and the floor mats are hanging and they can dry uh, just like a clothes hanger or clothesline now the rub the floor the carpet mats they'll actually get about right there so they're just barely off the van but barely off the van is enough off the van cause uh, it actually takes the drying time down you know obviously if you put them on the ground you've probably given you know had to lay them out for you know several you know maybe even overnight to get them all the way dry uh, hanging them up here um, they're actually completely dry in about an hour especially in the sun uh, if it's in the shade and really cold winter time they take about two hours and obviously you know I can vacuum the uh, you know what doesn't dry out or blow what doesn't dry out to help make sure it's completely dry before putting back in rubber mats there are some tricks to it that we'll eventually get into uh, so you don't actually stain and ruin them um, but we'll get into that in a, on another day uh, but this uh, floor mat station was actually custom made and thought of by us at OLS and then installed and there's the behind it. the springs here keep them from just going all over the place and then the notch here is what actually holds it when you pull it out and on this side like I say there's like a, a sleeve here to keep it out when you want it out and when you want it back in you just push the sleeve back in and back down it goes so uh, that I would say is a great reason of why your wash will be better at Oconee Luxury Services. Alrighty, so I started this detail. Uh, I do this car like I say, well I done it this time uh, about three months ago. And I done it again today and it still took three hours. And you saw the condition that it was in when I started. It's not like it was trashed. So you know if your car has been more than three months and is trashed it's probably going to take longer than three hours being this size so what we're uh what i'm showing you here is all the cleaned out panels nice door handles nice door jams the reason the door jams shine so well is because i actually wax them so you see the door shining off the ground now like do you see that line shining off the ground like i'm not having to point i mean well here i'll point it out just to make sure that it's showing up on camera but i don't have to point it out i feel like you saw it before and it can shut all the way up but look how big it is like whoops get where i'm not blocking it So it's like the entire door, frame, everything. So that's the kind of shine I like to see. And this one, because of its uh, angle here, it really does well. Uh, and you know, I even wax it, you know. Uh, and I mean, I'll even show you a spot a lot of people miss, a lot of people do not do right here on the inside of the door handle see like see how it comes out and you can do that part too and that just really really makes it shine um, um, all the mats came out really well the doors um, Let's get back in here, show you those cup holders. Everybody wants clean cup holders. Always a little dust, you know. Um, I actually vacuum, when I vacuum, I vacuum the seats, cup holders, door panels, the floor itself, you know, pretty much everything to get all the, every little bit of dust I can up. Because the less dust you have when you wipe it down, the better better off you're going to be. Uh, the sun has turned because I've been here so long. There's no uh, sun left on this side. Alright. So I'll get up here at the 
got this uh, steering column part. You can see got all of the dust between there and inside of here. Uh, you know, up here. And one thing I will point out and give you a riddle at right before I tell you the answer to the riddle. But how many times do you think you can clean this glass right here uh, without scratching it? Well, the answer is unlimited times. You don't have to scratch it. But I promise you, it is so easy to scratch. Like, it's ridiculous. Of course, I didn't scratch it because I have, you know, 9,800 cars worth of practice and not to scratch it. But you definitely have to be careful. I mean, even uh, condition, cleaning condition, the um, brake pedal, gas pedal. Came out really well. I'm really happy with it after my three hours of effort and the customers too. If you have a third row, I don't care if it's up or down when I get here. Uh, I always let it down or if they're down when I get here, I'm gonna let them up. Oh yeah, I gotta, I meant to finish to fix that mat over there when I opened that door to show you, but I didn't open that door to show you. But uh, there's a car that I do every four weeks uh, for the past 11 months, I think, 11 or 12. You know how time flies when you're having fun. But there's a car that I've been doing every four weeks for, like I say, about a year now. And uh, actually doesn't have any kids, uh, not married. So it's pretty much just her and she has a three row SUV. So she never lets the seats up. The only time they get let up is once every four weeks when I come uh, clean them and condition them. Um, and then put them back down. So I don't even really know if uh, she knows. I had a little right there. Um, I actually don't even know if she knows I let them up and down, but I guess it don't really, you know, when you open the door. I have to blur that out now. It don't really matter, you know, because you still want it done. It's still part of the service. That GMC is looking beautiful uh so there we go looks great all looks great um and even though the sun isn't out for the rim to get it to reflect the rim you know i always do the inside the rim and you know you can still see that very clean in fact why are the inside to clean well it's the same answer as the door jam uh i'll put i wax the inside of them i wax the uh outside too the face of it and the lugs um so that's pretty much why it's so clean uh this right here I went through every single little rectangle all the way across one by one and worked my way back so that came out really nice in fact I've done it a couple of times cause right when you think you got it all you see one more thing you know kinda like when I wiped off that little water in there but Looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to come back in a few months and do it again. You know? Because repeat customers are honestly the best customers. Uh, you know, going back to the um, lady that I do every four weeks. Um, you know, she goes to work. These people were at work when I got here. They just left the car outside, left the keys somewhere I could get them. If they were not home by the time I'm leaving, uh, I would use the garage door opener in the car 
to open up the garage door, back it in, leave the keys in there, leave the keys in the garage somewhere, and then shut the door and walk out the garage and the garage is locked up with the car in it and I'm not. So I leave and uh, that's pretty much it. And this is pretty much it of this video and this detail because I don't know what other angles to get. Uh, I actually do, uh, on these repeat details, uh, wax the windows. Got a little streak right there. I'm gonna have to get off cause you see how soft this rag is? Like, I mean, this is a nice plush uh, microfiber. Very, very, very nice. Okay, like I was saying, this is a very nice microfiber towel. And you can see the difference in the fibers like how many more there are here than the here uh, and that means that this will more likely scratch than this one this is just a very very old towel uh, it probably I'll probably throw it away I don't really you know I probably used it last time and it got washed and it ended up back in the rag bin or whatever you want to call it but probably just throw it away and not use it but see this this one is the paint microfiber uh, so uh, about a two dollar towel uh, twenty dollar towel so if you don't want your paint scratched see 